Hey there boys and girls and welcome to episode 172 of Sonic Boom TV. Here we go with another classic albums of the 1990s uh, part 6 I believe. Uh, this one, next one up is a alternative metal slash grunge band. I don't think they were grunge so much uh, but uh, definitely a lost classic for me. I um, haven't listened to it in a while, but I'm probably going to listen to uh, what I have uh, in the next uh, day or so. Um, but anyway, that would be Animal Bag. They were kind of kind of different. They were heavy, but they weren't they weren't grunge. I don't I, I don't know why they were put in the grunge. I th they were just like a heavy band, um, you know, stoner kind of stuff. I think it might be the best way to put it. Um, they. Uh, kind of cool little uh thing right there and uh like these pictures right here uh very uh very interesting band i didn't know any too many people that were into them back then um i don't know anybody that's into them now i haven't heard anybody talk about them in years um hello cosmo was probably the the hit i guess uh this uh this came out in 92 um yeah, 1992. I don't know if I said that. Um, but uh, but Personal Demons is a good song. Um, and uh, I can't hardly read it because the words are going over the thing. I can't read the song track, the track titles. Uh, but anyway, oh, in the back, uh, we got Darker Days, Hello Cosmo, uh, Moon Song, Hate Street. That's a real good one. Uh, personal demons, and that's about it for the the the, high, the the popular sounding songs, I guess, um, that I can remember off the top of my my head because it's been a while since I listened to, to this. Um, but really good album. Uh, check it out if you can. Um, this band had this one official album came out. There was another one that was supposed to come out uh, in I think '95. Yeah, image. It was called Image Damage LP, or Image Damage, I guess. Uh, in nineteen five, it was never officially released. So there may be a bootleg out there. Who knows? Uh, and then there was Offering, which was recorded in one of their friends' living room. Uh, it's an EP. It's got seven songs on it. Uh, I don't. I don't know if any of these songs are on it. Last one is one from the, the regular album. Uh, and I think the other six are all new songs or cover songs or whatever. Um, but um, this was real good, too. This was more of an acoustic type thing, I believe. Like I said, I hadn't listened to these in a while. Um, and then there was another one called Mis Miscellaneous Recordings EP, but I don't, I've don't. i never seen that before, so I don't know what's on that. Um, but go ahead and check them out. Um, there's probably some videos for them um, because they they were like I said they were kind of lumped in with the grunge stuff. But I thought I think they were a little bit too much for the for grunge, like a little too heavy for grunge. Um, but you never know, you know, because they they lumped a lot of things into grunge that I didn't think belonged in grunge, like Smashing Pumpkins and the Pixies. I didn't feel like either one of those had anything to do with the grunge, but they get labeled as a grunge band. Um, so anyway, um, that's it. Check out uh, Animal Bag self-titled, and if you get around to it, Animal Bag offering. Um, I think you'll uh, if you like heavy music, uh, you like you know hard rock, uh, metal kind of stuff. Can't go wrong. Um, and that's it for this episode.